Understanding, not a bed of roses, unveiling idiomatic expressions in English. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English idiom, not a bed of roses. Understanding idioms like this one is key to mastering the nuances of the English language. So, let's dive in and find out what this phrase really means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, not a bed of roses, is an idiom in English. Idioms are expressions whose meanings are not predictable from the usual meanings of their constituent elements. In this case, the phrase means that a situation is not easy or pleasant. It suggests that the situation involves difficulties or hardships. The imagery here is the contrast between the comfort and beauty of a bed of roses and the reality of a less pleasant situation. Understanding the origin of idioms can often help us remember them better. The phrase, not a bed of roses, likely originates from the idea that a bed of roses would be an extremely comfortable and pleasant place. However, roses also have thorns, which can imply that even seemingly pleasant situations might have their difficulties. Let's see how this idiom is used in sentences. 1. Getting through medical school was not a bed of roses, but it was worth it. 2. Despite his fame, his life has not been a bed of roses. 3. Dealing with the legal issues was not a bed of roses for the company. In these examples, the phrase is used to highlight the challenges in each situation. There are other idioms with similar meanings. For example, not a walk in the park, no picnic, a tough row to hoe. These idioms can often be used interchangeably with not a bed of roses, depending on the context. Thank you for watching. Remember, Understanding idioms like, not a bed of roses, adds color and depth to your English. It's not just about the literal meanings of words, but also about the vivid imagery and expressions that make language learning exciting. We hope this video has been informative and enjoyable. Keep practicing, and see you in our next video.